take away. Then shalt thou judge my people. Yes. Hear now, O Joshua, everyone. Hear now, O Joshua, the high priest. Thou and thy fellows that sit before thee. But they are men who wonder that I will bring forth my advantage. Praise God. Bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we reverently bow before you this morning as we stand on holy ground. We thank you, Lord God, for your presence that is in the midst of us. We bless you and we magnify your name for your mighty, you are great and your awesome God. We thank you for bringing us together on this special day, Lord. For this is a day that you have laid aside for your people to worship you and to set aside every work and to bless your holy name. We bind every opposing force. We dismantle the plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We break the arms of the wicked, O Kono Bosaya. Mighty God, we ask that thou will move in the midst of us. Yea, Lord God, and release your anointing upon this service this morning. Transform it by your mighty power. Remove the heaviness. Remove the weight, mighty God. Lift the burden, mighty God, and let your people go free that they may magnify your name. We thank you, Lord God, that you are still God. Oh God, let the blood of Jesus right now prevail. Let the blood of Jesus flow from the pulpit to the door. Let your blood cover us. Protect us from the will of the enemy. I pray for your anointing. I cannot do it without it, Lord. I pray that the Holy Ghost will get a hold of every heart in this house. And transform us and bring us on a higher plane with you, Lord. Touch those that are sick. Touch those that are down. Lift them up, mighty God. In the name of Jesus, we worship you and we give you praise. We come against every opposing force that stand to hinder like the evil Satan. Yes, God, our arch enemy this morning that want to bring hindrances. We bind every hindering spirit. We bind the spirit, mighty God. Heart is not of you. Every spirit is not of you. Oh God, lift up your people, Lord God, and give them hope, for there's hope in Jesus Christ. Have your divine way this morning. Give me strength to declare your word. Oh God, for you give it power to the faint, and to them that have no might to increase strength to your people, Lord. Bless us and keep us, preserve us from evil. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise and we thank you for the children. As we pray for them, save and deliver them, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Holy Ghost. Amen. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have just read a very important, every word of God is important. Every word of God in this Bible is true. But because we're living at a time when men don't want to believe his word anymore. Here we see how Joshua was representing the nation of Israel before God. And Satan, the adversary, was right there to oppose him. To hinder to the rebuilding of the temple. He is still our adversary today. He is the accuser of the brethren. Hallelujah. Who seek to take uh, almighty God of our lives and to take advantage of us. But I'm glad that God's eyes are upon his people this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And as Joshua, Israel representative, Joshua could not uh, resist the, the, the enemy. Although he was the high priest because his garment was filthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Perhaps it was smelly. Glory to God. God himself resisted Satan and rebuked him. And I rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. And God wants you and I to rise up. Hallelujah. And to rebuke the enemy. For he is the accuser of the brethren. Every day he accuses us day and night. Revelation 12.10. You read it. The end. 
Close to the end of that verse, he said he's the accuser of the brethren and he accuses us. Day and night bring all kind of things into our minds, into our ears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To slack your right in. That you cannot do the things that God wants you to do. And to move by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He stand there to hinder you this morning. And they are hindering spirit. In the midst of God's people in our lives. Hallelujah Jesus. But thank God for the blood. I said thank God for the blood. Hallelujah. Thank God for the blood. The blood makes the difference. The blood of Jesus. Makes a difference. Hallelujah. God have chosen Israel. To carry out his purposes. God brought Israel to much suffering. Hallelujah. God brought Israel many times. Through many things you have read. How all the things that he have done for them. Where he brought them from when he called. Even Moses from the beginning. And all the things that he had to do to bring them out of Egypt. He sent how many plagues he got to send before he delivered them. And before that wicked king, before he gave them up, he did not want them to go because he was using them to build Egypt. He was using their strength, yes, Lord, to build up Egypt. He was doing everything to keep them down in Egypt. But there's a time and a season with God. The devil can do all what he wants. He may keep you down for a while. Hallelujah. But he's not going to keep you down forever. And let me say to you this morning. Trouble don't last forever. Hallelujah. Sorrow don't last forever. Hallelujah. I said sicknesses and diseases don't last forever. Jesus have the answer. And Jesus still is the cure. Hallelujah Jesus. Here we see Satan right there, at the, right there as Joshua stood before the angel to resist him. Right there to resist him. And I'm sure there are many of you in this service this morning can look back in your life and you can say and you know of a certain that many times when the enemy stand up to resist you from doing good. Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah. He said when we want to do good evil ever present himself. When you want to live right, they will bring all kind of things to your mind. When you want to go God's way, he'll show you everything else besides going the straight lace way. He always there to resist. He stands as a hindrance. And you see, you can't kill him for he's a spirit and a spirit cannot be killed. He's only God have, praise God, a lake of fire waiting for him. And only then he will put him down. Put him down forever. And here was Joshua, the man of God, great man of God. He was the high priest. He was, and thank God we have a Joshua in the midst of us. And as I read it, the Lord brought my pastor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Joshua in the midst of us. And we thank God for a man with a vision who is hearing and spending time with God. You don't get the overnight. The problem today, everybody wants to be to the front. Everybody wants the, to be seen and to be heard. But it takes much suffering. It takes much denial. It takes much to get to where you are in life. I'm a living witness. Glory to God. You don't get the overnight. Don't try to be like him. Don't try to be like me. It takes years of suffering. It takes years of self-denial. It takes years to learn some lessons and to learn them well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He stood there and Satan was right there to resist him. Right there. But the Lord rebuked him in the name of Jesus. Because his garment was filthy. And he couldn't have the power to resist him. I said, thank God for the angel of the Lord that encamped round about us. Oh, yeah. We don't know who is with us. We don't see them with our natural eyes. But they're right around my house. Hallelujah. They're right in my home. And wherever I go, I have two at my side. Goodness and mercy. And they follow me everywhere I go. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so Joshua's clothed. And many of God's children, their garments have been tinted. 
Sin, hallelujah, cause separation. Sin is a reproach to any people. Sin will cause you to miss out on God. But this morning, Jesus still have the answer. For there is a fountain filled with blood. Drowns from Emmanuel vein. And sinners plunge beneath the flow. Lose all your guilt and stain. Whatever is your sin problem, Jesus have the answer. Whatever I say that is standing for you to be advancing in the things of God and the ways of God. I want you to know to go back to Calvary. I got to go many times. And I go every day and ask him to cleanse me. I ask him to wash me. I ask him to forgive me. I ask him to keep me. I ask him to preserve me from all evil. For the world is full of evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we need him. We need his presence. Yes, that he can stand up for us. And to resist the devil. And he's going to flee from you. Whatever you are going through this morning. Let me tell you there is deliverance in Jesus. Whatever you are passing through right now. You might not be able to say to me. Many of you are going through times. I myself, I never walked this way before. But I trust God to see me through from day to day. And every day when I get up, I say, thank you, Lord. At least I am still here. I don't know about you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Yes, yesterday, I received a call from New York from one of my daughter. I tell you, it was a little after 2 o'clock, and I just tried to get into my house. Oh, it was so sad. And she says, Mom, you hear the news. I said, what news, girl? No, it's what news I fly now. Which one? I don't know which one of them. And it's their family, my husband's family. But they always said they're closer to me than him. Perhaps because of my personality. And this was this young man living here in Chatola. Some of you perhaps know him, named Alex Warren. He's living in East End. Then he went over to Anigada, married an Anigada young woman. And then he was teaching. He joined the police force with one of my sons. And he was teaching and he left. And he went away to Texas a few years now. And I understood that he was in a state of depression. That's what the enemy wanted to take many of God's people this morning. To depress us. So we can take our life. To depress us. That we can't think right. To depress us. So that we can't even understand when people speak to us. And they said he was on prescription, medication, for depression. And he, he went and put on the Facebook and the um, you see the Instagram or whatever his name is. Instagram or Instagram, I don't know where he word himself. Instagram. Instagram. Okay, he played these words and I told my dad to tell me exactly. And I write it down. And this is what he says. Just want to say goodbye to everyone. I am really sorry. And I don't know it's... I don't know... It's... <clears throat> it is a selfish act. Please forgive me. If you can. I hope that you will understand. I, am, I have failed... I am not the father I should have been. And so someone saw this and they called his wife. And the wife called the policeman. And the police got a hold of him and they were following him. He left his house. And they were following him in Texas. And he realized that the police were following him. And when he saw that they were getting close to his car, he put the gun to himself and killed, shot himself dead. He's only about 38 years. I don't even know if he made 38 yet. That was the enemy is doing. Young people, be careful. Listen to the voice of God. You might not appreciate many of us. Well, let me tell you this morning, the devil is right at every one of us to resist us. He is our number one adversary. 
He come to kill. He come to steal. And he come to take your life. So you better be careful. Resist the Bible said the devil. And he will flee from you. Draw nigh unto God. And he will draw nigh unto you. Hallelujah Jesus. There's no military might. No political powers. Or any human strength. Can accomplish the work of God. He's going to take only. If the spirit of the Lord is within us. To deliver. And able us to do the things. That God wants us to do. I am saying to every one of us today. You don't know what you have until you lose it. But I'm encouraging you to stand up for Jesus. And to stand up strong. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Whenever you make up in your mind that you're going to serve God. All hell break loose. When you make up in your mind. I want to live a better life. I want to live on a higher plane. I want to hear the voice of the Lord and I need the revelation of Jesus Christ and the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need that you can survive in this life and in these times. There is an enemy right there to resist you and to bring you down. I've seen great men, great women of God walking, preaching, mighty God sick, being healed and the enemy brought them down in a moment. Think many times and look at Jim Reeves. Great man of God. Great man of you, man. This is for you. You got to be careful. You got to stay on your knees. Because some men have some weakness when it comes to women. But God still have the answer. Resist the devil. Resist the devil! One man said he don't have no problem with temptation. The song said yield not to temptation. He said I just yield to it. He don't have no problem with temptation. He just yield to temptation. For yielding is sin. Don't yield to temptation. Do you hear me this morning? Hallelujah. 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 God is looking for you and God is looking for me this morning. And he want, just as how he cleansed and reclothed Joshua. He wants to recleanse us. He wanted to reclose us. He wants to clean up our acts and our lives. So many of us have some ways in us that the world and others don't know. But the Holy Spirit let you know. And you know too. Praise God. But God is able this morning to reclothe you. He's able to take away your filthy garment. Hallelujah. Clothe you with the garment of salvation. He's able to give you back what the enemy has stolen from you. But you got to learn how to resist the devil. You got to learn how to pray. You got to learn how to seek the Lord. Until you touch him again. I love that song. Brother Paralan used to sing, Touch me again, Lord. Touch me again. I need your anointing. Pour out your anointing upon me again. Yes, Lord, that's what we need in our lives, the anointing of God. As I said, it's not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit of the Lord. God have some people right in the midst of us that he have chosen, that he have handpicked. Praise God to stand and to declare his word. But we have to resist the enemy. The enemy of our soul. We got to know that God is with us. We got to know that he's fighting a battle. And if he's leading and directing, we cannot lose. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For we are more than conquerors. And sometimes we allow him to run all over us. And feel as if that we are no way with God. When he has given us all this power. When he calls us to triumph. Don't give up now. Don't give up on him this morning. God still is our refuge. He's going to take away everything, all your burdens. He's going to lift your burdens. He's going to remove all your troubles. Hallelujah. He's going to lift you up. He's going to promote you. He's going to bring you to greatness and destiny. But you got to stay in him. So many have fallen him afar off. So many only talk with them all, but their life do not show 
God wants us to abide in him. Praise God. He wants to clothe us. Praise God. Take away everything that is in you that is not of God. He wants to do that trust for you this morning. You might not You might not accept, nor am I able to say it the way as I see it and I felt it. But deep in my heart, the Lord has been doing many things and great things in my life. And I can look back and I can say to God, be the glory, great things he has done. We must resist the devil, I said, resist him. A few years ago, and as I was reading, it came to my mind. This morning as I lay on my bed, and I can remember there was a minister's wife in Canada. This is a real story, and I read it. And she was sick for a good while. And she said her strength had begun to dwindle down and dwindle down until she voice can be scarcely be heard. But the saints of God was around her 24 hours, her husband and her daughters, and the church was always there in her home encouraging her to hold on and not to give up. And I'm here to let you know this morning, even though all hell break loose, still hold on. Amen. Don't you dare give up. She never gave up, but she kept on and she was a believer and she knew the Lord God was with her. And the day came when she died, her spirit left her body. And all around, she said she heard the sobbing. She heard the crying of her daughter and her husband. And the saints was around her bed. They were crying because she's gone. Her spirit left her body and she went. But the angel came and escorted her to heaven. And she said she stood seven feet from heaven's gate. And when she got there to the gate, she saw people that she heard about. She saw so many of the brethren that died many years before. And they all came to greet her at the gate. And give a message to go back to their families. And tell them don't let nothing stop them from meeting them in heaven. And he said he looked for certain people and she never saw them. But for those that came to the gate and give her the message to go back home and tell the people, children, you listen to me this morning. You better obey your parents. You better live for God. Hallelujah, Jesus. She received the message and she wondered why the Lord allowed her to stand there for a while. But because even though she was gone, the people were still there praying. And because of the prayer, the Lord said, okay, they're still holding on for you. I'm going to let you go back down. And her spirit entered right back into her body. She came back alive. And before she came back down, the Lord gave her like a little scroll, a piece of paper. And told her, put that in your bosom. For when you get back, Satan is going to to attack you. But you claim this. I am the Lord that he let thee. Was written on the paper. And she said when she got back. She opened her eyes. And Molly could see. These little bony fingers of the devil. And all demons was around her bed. And this is what they said. I would never forget it. He said yes. You come back down to bring reproach on the name of Jesus. He said, you're never dead. You're not going to live. But the Lord said, he's going to attack you. You say, you claim it. Keep it close to you. I don't know who I'm speaking to in this service this morning. I don't know who is sick right now. I don't know what trouble you're going through. But you put the word of God in the heart. Stand upon it. And declare I am the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I have healed you. And believe it. Amen. Believe it. Amen. Believe it. And you are healed. And she said she had to claim it. She got to repeat it. And said when they were there fighting and fighting the saints. I'm, I'm telling you. These demonical forces. They really got some power you know. But Jesus is more powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And she said, they were there battling for hours and can't get them out of the room. When she looked past it, she saw she, an angel just came right down. Right in the midst of them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The angel of the Lord came right down. And they were scattered the to go. Get them out of them. Just like how I felt when they come in here this morning. I said, thing feels so heavy. I don't know why it is. 
I said, Lord, me heavy enough. And I can't make it what heavy too. Hallelujah. Because of the news yesterday, it really knocked me down. We were very close. But this morning, God has sent me to encourage somebody. And to lift up your spirit. To lift up your soul. And to give you hope for there's hope in Jesus Christ. You must expect opposition. Anything for God, you must express that people are going to oppose. Right in your home. Right in the church. Right on your job. Right in the street. You find opposition. People always there to oppose you. Don't care how good you think you are. There are always those who dare to pull you down. Do I have any witness? Hallelujah. But if God is for you, no man can be against you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just like how the adversary stood up and tried to resist, we need to resist him back. Yes, don't let him jump all over us. Don't let him keep you in bondage. God wanted to do great things for you this morning. He wants to take you on a higher level. He wants to reveal the revelation word. Yes, God, he wants to reveal the prophetic word in the midst of us. Because this is a prophetic ministry. And so God wants to show us and do great things. Hallelujah, Jesus. But are we in the position? Are we in the place? Can we shake the devil off this morning? Come on, get up and shake yourself. You got to shake yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. From all of these spirits that want to hold us bound. Many spirits want to keep us in bondage. Many spirits want to hinder us from advancing in the ways of God and the things of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to resist. David didn't have no sense. He was supposed to be a sensible man. But I read how David make the devil tell him go cut the number Israel. Have no right to go number Israel. Okay, you know God was with him. And some of us not have no sense sometimes. Sometimes we act so stupid. I'm one too. And make the devil use us sometimes. You hear what I'm saying? And because he numbered Israel, he said he resist the devil. Why did he send Job to go and count the people? Where were to count to thousands, millions of people for? You can't count them? And you know what? Because he did it, you know what God did? He sent an angel, innocent people. 70,000 were slain. Read it, First Chronicles 21. Read it for yourself. When you and I sin, you don't know whose life you're destroying. When you and I do wrong, you don't know who you're bringing down. David sin, I said. And he humbled himself. That's one good thing I love about David. I love him here in Jehoshaphat more than any king in Israel. Those are my two favorite kings. And Hezekiah. David, Jehoshaphat, Hezekiah, these are great kings. God used them, but he allowed the enemy. Don't allow the enemy this morning to bring you down from your walk with God. Don't allow the devil to take your testimony. Stand up for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has placed a two-edged sword in our hands so we can inflict his vengeance on nations and punishment on people. Amen. To kings with fetters and to carry out the sentence written against them. Yes, Lord. God has given us a two-edged sword and we got to wield it in the enemy this morning who want to stand as hindrances. He bind kings. Oh yeah. Og. King of Basha. Og. So many of these kings. He overthrow them. The Moabites kings. He overthrow them. Who am I? Who am I? And who are you this morning? We are God's handmaid. We are God's servant. We must learn how to resist. All that glitters is not gold. Your heart don't have to go after everything your eyes see. Shut your eyes sometimes. As the old people say. 
Shut your eyes and believe God. Hallelujah. 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 We are to stand up for Jesus. And you know what? And there are people who is admiring this church. And they stand as admirers, even our pastor. We are surrounded. We are his eyes. Hallelujah. God have eyes in this church. Glory to God. They have eyes. Those that can see in the spirit. He has given us the eyes of Joshua that is here. He has the eyes of Knight. He has the eyes of Smith. He has the eyes of Christabel. He has the eyes of Beverly. He has the eyes of Robertson. He has the eyes of others. Perhaps I don't know. But he brought those names to me this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. And we are admired even though they don't tell us openly. Our eyes are of the word upon this land is upon the gospel of Jesus. For this is the church that Jesus Christ established before he left the earth. And he's coming back for the church without spot and without wrinkle. Hallelujah. Resist the devil. And stand up for what you believe. He do everything. Excuse me. To bring you down. The devil is doing everything. For you not to continue to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. When you have done so much for us. When you have brought us such a mighty long way. He have brought us such a mighty long way. Jesus. And so we have to be careful. How we tread on the things that God has placed in our hands. Ah oh God. Hallelujah. We got to be so careful. Hallelujah. God had to rebuke Satan and we have to rebuke him too. And he saw that God that was filthy. His garment was filthy. How is your garment? How is your garment this morning? Am I not the judge? But you must know how you walk with God. You must know we are living in troublous times. We are living in evil times. Men heart. Oh mighty God. They have no more fear for God anymore. Look what ISIS is doing. In Europe and other places in Syria. And all about their beheading people. They're killing people. And especially the Christians are the targets. Oh yes. In, in, um, in African country. I've been hearing so many people went to church sometime last year in November. And they went down and went inside. And they just shoot down the pastor and all the, almost all the members. That's what the devil is doing today. So we can't play fool. We can't play light and loose with what God has given to us. We got to go back to Bethel. We got to go back to the old parts. We got to go back to righteousness. We got to go back to holiness. We got to go back to the truth of the living God. Get back to the Bible. Read the Bible. Wake up your children. As long as you buy the bed, they have to get up. And tell them about Jesus. They can't lie down in my bed. I'm telling you, I'm so glad today when I see how the children are behaving and answering their parents, my God, inside of me boiling up. In whose house are going to stop? I wonder whose house are going to stay in. You don't have no respect for me. You can't come in any old house. You help me build my house, you meet me in my house. You ain't going to rule my life. Come on, don't make your children do what they want. You're a woman of God. You're a man of God. Stand up for righteousness. God will stand up with you. Don't let the answer you any old. That's why you have to train them now. They're young. Train up a child. When they get old, they will not depart from you. They will not depart from the word of God. You train them right when they were young. When they get older, they will still have manners of respect. You hear what I'm saying? My son was here. And he just left yesterday morning. Well, yesterday be Friday. Thursday morning. Yes. He went back. And I called him into my room. Just before I go, the Lord helped me to read to him about Jehoshaphat. Because I know when he went to run for election, I thank God for this church and the praying people. I called and asked to pray for him and he won. But I tell him, the problem with many leaders, especially in the Caribbean and other places, they forget who placed them in the position where they are. Do I have any witness? When they get up, they forget. And I said I had to pray. I had to fast. I told him, I don't think I want to go through it again. I get up before 5 o'clock and I went to a church down in the islands three days before the election. And I prayed and I stayed there with a few others who were praying. 
that God will turn the situation around. And they have done so many things. They said so many things that are very disturbing and everything. But yet still God chose him. And God selected him and he was able to win in the election. But he gets so busy now meeting with the big mistress of the millionaires and the billionaires he's meeting with. So he don't seem to have no time with God anymore. And I tell him, you better be careful. Because the same God who put you will take you down. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I'm not like the mother who afraid their children. They have to be afraid of me, me afraid of nothing. And you better believe it. They can't do what they like in my place. Through the door, they're going on their head. They're going through. You hear what I'm saying? I tell them, spend time. Spend time with God. And I said to him, when I read that part of scripture, whenever Jehoshaphat seek the Lord, the Lord allow him to prosper. Whenever you and I see God, God going to bless you. But the problem is many people looking for all and looking for money. But it's a spiritual gift is what I need. And that's what we need is not money. He answered all things, but he don't give you happiness. The most miserable people are in the face of the earth are the rich folks. When night comes, we can sleep if we don't have a dollar. But they can't sleep. But I can sleep. For they don't know who's going to come in and take the money from them. They're watching and wondering who's going to break into their house. So let me tell you this morning and cover your heart. Never forget him. You rise up early in the morning. You begin to go back to Bethel. Go back to your prayer life for many of us has fallen. I myself don't pray the way I used to pray. And I'm very honest and I can't pretend. You ain't getting me nowhere. I pretend they don't get nowhere. God is real and you're looking for real people. And I'm real from my head to my foot. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. He wants us to stay humble before him like our pastor. I love him. And I always tell him so. You know why? Because some people don't want nobody to know the life that they used to live. And they make people believe that they were so good and they were the devil themselves, some of them. Not all. Hallelujah. 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 But he always take us back and show us where God brought him from. I stop telling you, you have to tell the whole world what you have done when you were young. Because a lot of people, young people, do a lot of stupidness. But thank God he was honest to say what he used to do. And how God, I always tell him, he couldn't dead. All kind of matches were swinging over his head. But I couldn't kill him because he had to take care of me and to take care of the church. Come on, clap your hand for the man of God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. I always believe... When you see certain things happen to certain people, God told me, well, since you were a young girl, I have my hands upon you. I couldn't understand it. I was handpicked and chosen. Hallelujah. Tell even my families. Sometimes left to them, I'll be the last one. Because of my outspokenness, many of them don't like it. And I don't hide my feelings. I was never a hypocrite. And it's too late now to be one. God wants us to be real. Hallelujah. God wants us to be real. He wants us to go back to that place in him. That when he comes, he'll meet us with our garments clean. We don't want to be like that man in the Bible who went to the wedding. And when he looked, he saw this one not having a wedding garment. When I read that thing, oh, it went to my heart. Never have on. Do you have on a wedding garment? You know, I always say, and I've said it here a few times. I've been going to St. Thomas many, many times. And I see the boat turn off. And two people left back. And they call them. And the boat come back and pick them up. But when God closed the door, door he ain't coming back for you. So try and get here now. While the door is open. While it stands ajar. While there is still mercy on your side. Amen. While you can sense his spirit. Touching your heart. Yes, yes. Some people hard like stone. Glory. Not even bulldozers that can move them. But the spirit of the Lord God will bring you to that place this morning. Hallelujah. Resist the devil. Resist evil. World full of evil. Everywhere you go. Evil. Evil people. Evil nations. Working with them. Rubbing side and side with them. And when they do whatever they do, and I say that you handle you, they say you're a witch. I said, take that. 
Because might is greater. Hallelujah. I know whom I believe. And I know who I serve. Amen. You don't have a dot to your hand. You don't have a gun away from anybody read nothing to you. Get in the word of God. This is what you need. It's the word is going to keep you. It's the word is going to preserve you. It's the word is going to help you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 They're doing everything to wipe out the word. You can't even call the name of Jesus in some schools in America. But they will have to put me in jail every week. Because wherever I go, I tell them about Jesus. Don't be afraid. If you know you're not living right, well, you have to shut your mouth. But as long as you know you're living right, open your mouth and let somebody know, lift them up and give them hope. The world outside is dying. Ice is taking over. What happened to the Christians? They're gone fast asleep. They are hiding. Many are afraid. Afraid because they are um, targeting the Christians and the pastors and the evangelists. I like me first they come for. You know, if anything happens at all, everybody don't know me. You know that. And they know I'm very outspoken again, make it worse. So anything happen, somebody will sell me, go for quick sister Warren. It's me first I go to send, go to she. Right? Oh yes. But the Lord wants us this morning. That's a little just a little humor anyway. Uh, because everybody seems so sad. And so this morning, I just want to encourage your heart to resist the devil. Draw nigh to God. When you look at it, you know, when you look at it, you work so hard. You build your house, you're still working. You give a nice furniture, give a nice bed to lie down on. Give you everything that you need. What you didn't have when you were growing up. Because I always tell people, I cherish everything that I have, the Lord has given it to me. And I always acknowledge to everybody. Because some people believe what they got, and they get it. I didn't get it. God gave it to me. As a young girl, we used to use the coal pot and the charcoal. But today, everybody have a stove in their house. Even the poorest of poorest. And even though they have a stove, they have a hot plate, they can plug in electricity and get their food boiling. So when the Lord has blessed you, take a little look now and again. Have you ever stopped and take a little look back in your life and say, Lord, look, look at me. You understand? Come on. Naked he clothed you. He give people, he give people to help me to bless me. Put people, put money in people's hands to give me. Come on. Do you know what I'm talking about? Don't get high-minded. Don't get carried away if you give a couple dollars in your hand and think you're big Mr. Stuffy. Put your dung in a minute. I have seen it. I have known it. And I've experienced it. Even with my own brother. A man over 20 something million dollars. And today you have one. You've got to be kidding. I have more sense than that. Hallelujah Jesus. So don't forget. Whenever he lifts you up. Just begin to keep humble. Whenever he gives you things. Just begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Begin to thank him. Hallelujah. 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 I always should tell people. Whenever my children in America send me anything. I make sure, even as I will come and dress, I wear it to pray meeting the first time I put it down, I'm coming in the house of God to give praise and thanks. Amen. And you do likewise. Don't get too uppity, uppity. Keep a humble spirit to walk with the Lord. God wants you this morning to humble yourself. He wants you to trust in him. You can't trust people anymore. But trust in the living God. And he said he's going to do what? Direct your paths. Don't lean onto your own understanding. But in all of your ways, acknowledge him. And he is going to bring it to pass. This morning, I just want to encourage you with this word. I might not get to tell you how I want to say it because from yesterday, I can't even think straight anymore. I said, Lord, I can't even deliver the word. Lord, give me the strength to do it, Jesus. I feel so perplexed because I wonder how in the world this young man could do a thing like this. A nice young man, quiet, just look like my son Robin. Same, everything straight, little nose, everything quiet. And allow the spirit to put a gun to his head, take his own life. Because things perhaps might not go in the way, things are not going good with everybody. What wrong with you? Not because you see me dress many times, so sometimes I broke more than Ten Commandments. What's wrong with you? You 
You know, we go take umbrella and peeling, peeling, and everybody know where we're going on. You lost the renal. You got me? The whole world don't have to know. You think I'm so stupid to take my life? You got to be kidding. When I called my son and I told him, I said, boy, you know how I feel? He said, mommy, you know, you talk about how you feel because they talk together all the time. Why you do that? Why? Why he do that? Your cousin to my children. Why he do that? Why he do it? Just as the police approach him, take out the gun and shot himself dead. And they're going to bring him right back here. Lord of mercy. May God help us this morning. When you're down and out, get somebody who you have confidence in, who know how to pray. Call some Christian. Somebody you must know you can talk to. When you feel depressed and you feel and you feel like you can't make it, young people, this is for you. Call a friend. Call your pastor. Call a teacher. Call somebody that you can talk with. Don't give in to the voice of the enemy. Didn't I tell you right from this pulpit a few years ago, I was cutting up a chicken and I heard the voice said, well, I'm taking a knife and cut your throat. I said, if I should have rammed this knife into you. <laughs> Didn't I tell you so? I said, I, I, can I eat a spirit? I said, we don't want to see you, but I can't see you. I rammed this knife through and through you. You think I got so stupid for kill myself? You got to be kidding. You understand what I'm saying? It's a spirit. And they are let loose in the earth. They are invading our young people in the school. They are taking drugs. They are stealing and they are doing all sorts of things. But God had to give us spiritual eyes to discern. Had to get close to them. Had to hug them. Had to be around them. Had to tell them there is hope in Jesus Christ. Resist the devil, I say. And draw nigh to God. And he will draw nigh to you. He will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Don't care what sin you have committed in this world. The blood of Jesus takes care of it. The blood of Jesus will wash you and make you clean again. He will reclothe you. He will give you back whatever the enemy has stolen. He has stolen my strength. Some days it seems like I'm dragging my feet, and next day it seems like I'm walking like I'm, I'm 16. But the Lord is my strength, and he's my redeemer. Hallelujah. And I want to say in closing, you still have to remain humble. Some people are so arrogant with their spirit, but we have to ask God to give us that humble spirit. And to ask him to lead and to direct us and to keep us. For great men have seen has fallen and they're coming down every day from their walk with God. And the greatest men that ever walked the shores of time are the people who walk with God. There are times I don't hear his voice. And don't fool yourself, God don't talk to you every day either. It's times and it's season with God. Your season, your season is here. And God is getting ready to raise you up out of your circumstance and out of your situation. And he's going to bring it to greatness. And he's going to bring it to destiny. So others may know that the hand of the Lord God is with you. And who God bless, no man can curse. When God raised you up, no man can take you down. You got to take down your own self. But it's one thing to get up, but another thing to stay up. I'm speaking from experience. For when you get up there and God begins to show you things, all hell breaking truths. Every ammunition, every gun, every artillery is hurling to take you down. And you better believe it. I'm speaking from experience. But having obtained help from God, I still continue unto this day. I don't know what this message means to you. But I thank God this morning that he gave me enough sense to know when the enemy is speaking, what you must resist him. Speak the word to him. Don't be silent. 
go silent, give consent, and we'll try to jump all over you. Open your mind, because he told my cousin-in-law to take his life. Look what he did. Look what he says. Just want to say goodbye to everyone. I am really sorry. And I know it's a selfish act. Please forgive me. How the devil can put that in my heart to say such good words. And then he took his own life. Who am I speaking to? There's a suicidal spirit is in every place. And it's more among the young people today. And all I can hear from the different things that are happening, they write on paper before they take their life. They heard a voice said to do this and to do that. But the voice of the Spirit of the Lord God is here this morning. Wooing you to come to me. Come. If you're wounded, come. If you're weak, Come. If you want to be reclothed, come. If you need healing, come. All of us need to come back to Bethel. Go back to the old paths. That God can raise us up again and make our life be a blessing in the land. And we can reach our young people. You got to show them love. Yeah, we have to ask God for strategies to deal with the young people. I believe some of the times I will be a little harsh with mine. But I did the best that I know then. You understand? And if it was in today's world, I told one of them, they would have charged me for child abuse. Because I didn't mean to, to put licks on them when they need it. You understand? But they are the best. Because of what I did. And thank God, I am so proud to see what the Lord has done in their lives. So may God help you this morning. May you be admonished this morning, brethren. May you know that the eyes of the Lord is running to and for the earth. To show himself mighty in the behalf of those whose heart is perfect towards him. And he wants to minister to you. And to your need. Whatever is your need, God's got the answer. Whatever you want, physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, everything is in God's hands. Hallelujah. And all you got to do is to say, here I am, Lord. I surrender. I come to you this morning. Surrender. 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 Not to the enemy. Don't do what the man said. He said he, he don't have no problem with, with, with temptation. He just yield to it. He just go right into it. But you surrender to Jesus. You surrender to the Lord. We all make mistakes. We all do things, say things that is not right. Oh, yes, I do it. You do it too. All of us do it. All have sin, and we have come short. But thank God, Jesus has the cure. Bow your heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning for your faithfulness. And we thank you for your word, mighty God. Perhaps I was not able to do it. As I would like to this morning, but I thank you, Lord God, for the inspiration that you have given today. I pray even right now, mighty God, that your spirit will move in the midst of us. Oh God, for it's dormant in many hearts today. But stir up the spirit in us, Lord God. Move us out of the place that we are, that we are not to be. And bring us into the place of rest. I pray even for our young people. Young boys and our young people in the midst of us, Lord, that thou would throw out the lifeline. For someone is drifting and someone is sinking today. Have mercy upon us, mighty God. Deliver us from this battle that is against us. For they are more that are with us, more than they that are with them. Bring them out of every situation, mighty God. Let the blood of Jesus cover them. Protect them from evil. Forgive us of every sin. And that they can find a place at your side. For it is attainable this morning. Have your way this morning, mighty God. Hallelujah. Your great in counsel, your mighty in your acts. Hallelujah. Move in the midst of us right now. Let your angel in the midst of us 
bring them, mighty God, bring them out of their seat that they may come and pray to thee. For we may not have this chance another time. Have your way with us this morning, oh God. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for even extending mercies to me. Thank you that I'm still here on the land of the living. Help me to make use of every opportunity for the souls of men are dying. Men are crying. Hear the cry of your servant. Hear the cry of your handmaid this morning and the cry of your people. We need special help from heaven and only you to help us. Bless, keep, preserve, save the lost. Bring back backsliders. Many are backslidden in their hearts and in their ways and their actions. Mighty God, turn them around and bring them back like the prodigal son who made up in his mind that he was going back home. Bring us back home. Let your blood cover. Let your blood protect our children, our families. The world is not going to be saved. But for those that will keep in contact with the Lord, may you save them and deliver them. In the mighty name of Jesus, I take authority even right now over every demonical force. I destroy and dismantle the plan of the enemy that want to hold their people hostage. Bring them out and bring them into the inheritance. Bring them in, mighty God, for you brought us out to bring us in. Have your way today in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's sing a song of invitation. And those of you who want to come, you come. Nobody forcing you. You must know your state. Are you was in the blood, in the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are you washed? Are you washed? In the, in the precious blood, in the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are your garment spotless or white? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, have you been to Jesus for the blessing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusted in this grace? This hour, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Oh, are you washed in the blood? Hallelujah! Glory be to God. In the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking? Are you walking daily, my Savior? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest this moment? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? 
are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood? In the soul cleansing? In the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are you coming? Are you coming? Spotless are you When the bridegroom cometh, when the bridegroom cometh, will your rules be white, pure and white? In the blood of the Lamb, will the soul be ready? Will your soul be ready? For the mansion bride. And be washed, and be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, are you washed? Are worship. you washed? We worship you all in God. the blood, in the blood, in the soul, in the soul, in the blood, blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Are you washed? Are you washed wash in the blood of the Lamb? Lay aside your garments, aside your that are stained with sin, stained with sin. And be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain flowing. There's a fountain flowing for the soul. Unclean. Oh, be washed. The Lamb. Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the blood, cleansing blood of the Lamb. Are you God? Let's have you. Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you washed in the blood? In the soul, cleansing blood Hallelujah. of the Lamb. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you spotless? Are you white? Tell us, Lord, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed? Are you white? In the blood, in the soul. In the soul, and the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah, I your God, spotless are you are, as blue are you washed in the blood of the Lamb. Are you, are you washed? washed? Are you alive in the blood? Worship Him, Hallelujah! Oh, in the soul, cleansing blood of the Lamb. 
Give the Lord praise. Come on, clap your hands and give him praise. Praise ye the Lord, everybody. Give him glory. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Magnify his name. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody stand to your feet. Clap your hands. For the word of God, for the preacher. Praise ye the Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. And we want to welcome back. I don't remember your name. All I remember is that you're Lisa's sister. Sister. Sister Brown. Welcome back, Sister Brown. She was away in Jamaica. Thank you, Jesus. And, and um, good to see you, Renel. How does it feel now? <laughs> hey, she got filled with the Holy Ghost, you know. So we got to pray now that God just work his work. Mighty work in her life. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands again for Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Clap your hands, you know. Thank you, Lord God of hosts. And for all of you who are visiting with us, we are so glad to have you, glad to see you. And we do pray that you'll come again to visit us. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Clap your hands to all our visitors. Praise ye the Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to say one thing quickly here. And just like Minister Warren was saying, but I'm telling you, it's really time to pray. Are you understanding that? It's really time to pray. I got up about 3 o'clock this morning and I was pressing in the spirit and all of a sudden I started weeping and crying and all of that and I was speaking in tongues and all that and usually when stuff like that happen, you know, there, a whole lot of stuff and then sometimes you see people flash before you and then you start calling them by name, praying for God to move for them. And so you got to see that it is important for you to seek the Lord. It's important that you get up out of your beds and seek the Lord. It is important that, especially when you're coming here on Sabbath, and, and you know you're coming to service, God is relying on you. He's relying on you to call on his name. Yes, Lord! That yokes will be broken in this place. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. And you got to understand 